For anyone who uh, doesn't know, this is Todd Jones from the awesome band Nails. I wanted to include you in this class because um, a lot of, I guess, a lot of what I've seen in, in the way of uh, education about writing, I think is 100% wrong because it's like theory based and um, technique based and um, I know that you're not a theory dude at all. Um, you're a field dude and um, people really like your music. And so I wanted to kind of dissect it with you somewhat so that people at home who might be focusing way too much on scales and theory and all that, you know, can get their head out of their ass and focus on what's actually important, especially uh, to add some contrast to you know, what some of the other guests are gonna be talking about. Like, I think it's uh, really awesome that you can be here to uh, represent, I guess, the other side of the spectrum, but not really, because good songs are good songs. Yeah, thanks for having yeah. me. Um, it's really exciting. It's, it's something I love talking about, so. It's pretty cool stuff. Here. Yeah, it's, uh, I think we're uh, encountering the problem of more content than time, but uh, that's, uh, that's not a bad problem to have. So, I'm going to uh, skip forward to Todd. Cool. So uh, we talked a lot while we were getting this ready to, uh, again, so that we wouldn't just be rambling uh, forever. And one of the things that we kind of uh, came to, which I think is really interesting about Nails and about how you write, is how you define yourself as a riff writer or not a riff writer. And uh, I wanted to kind of um, define for the audience what we came to the conclusion of what a riff actually is. Um, and I think you said to me that you consider yourself more of a dude who plays uh, percussive rhythms on guitar yeah, than I, yeah. riffs. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I'm not really necessarily a, you know, there's a difference uh, between a riff mm -hmm. and just a simple part, you know, uh, Into the Void by Black Sabbath. That's a riff, or Iron you know, Man. The, yeah, or Iron yeah. Man, or uh, Smoke on the Water. Like that's a that's a riff. That's a head crushing riff. Whereas like you know, the opening chords to like a Minor Threat song, it's not necessarily a riff. It's just da na 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 na. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I don't necessarily think of myself as like a person who writes these big elaborate riffs, um, but you know, I don't necessarily think of myself as a person that just writes small, simple parts. I think I'm like halfway in between both those things. Well, I think uh, one of the things that, I guess one of the defining points of a riff, the way that you were just describing it, like I guess riff with a capital R, as opposed to in band practice and being like, yo, I got a riff, uh, which I guess it has two definitions. Uh, riff, uh, the, the way, I think we're talking about it is more like a melody um, to where if you were a vocalist, um, you could sing it and it uh, almost serves the function of being another vocalist. I think like a classic riff, like that uh, Kansas riff you were playing earlier or something, that's a vocal melody. You could play it on, or it's just a good melody, you could play it on any instrument and it would still be catchy. And I think that, uh, I think what you're describing yourself as doing and what I think is the guitar element of Nails, which is really, really cool, is that it's more, it's more like a rhythm instrument. Um, and the catchiness is in the patterns and in the variation yes. between the patterns. Yeah. That's actually one, th you know, what we were talking about before, which is um, the uh, th rhythm being I think at the top of the, my hierarchy, at least for what makes good music, is it doesn't need to be a melody or anything uh, if the pattern is really, really catchy. Um, I think that that's actually one of the things that people work on the least. Um, do, you, do you actually consciously develop like your rhythm playing or is that just something that happened? You know, I, I think a lot of my rhythm playing came from learning Master of Puppets by Metallica, mm -hmm. the whole album. That's a good one. But, um, you know, that's that, that was a foundation of me playing guitar, was learning Metallica songs and Nirvana songs. Um, it's definitely something I've, I've expanded on as I've grown older, but only 
through my own practicing um, and writing my own songs.